The only thing that can take us out of the cycle of suffering that I have found that works reliably is inquiry. And inquiry is sometimes, inst the, the solution is sometimes instantaneous. I guess most of the time it's not. We may have to do inquiry on that thing over and over. Um, uh, back in the early 2000s, uh, I was quite poor and I inquired over and over again into the fact, I knew that I'd, that I shouldn't have to do it because I just did it the day before and the day before and the day before. But I would have to inquire into the suffering that I was having that I did not have enough money, that Fred was poor and he shouldn't be. People all around him, not nearly so deserving as Fred, and they had money. And if they could have money, then certainly I should have some money, and I didn't. I didn't notice that I never missed a meal, and I never again slept out in the cold. So I actually had the money I needed, but I didn't have the money I wanted, and you can't get that much money. So inquiry is your solution. And you have to inquire into everything. Suspicion is a way of life. I'm going to advise you not to suspect too much, although you can do inquiry into it and you can and you can find out for yourself for sure. But I wouldn't be too suspicious of what's going on here because the only reason you came here was because you were suffering and you felt like there was a way out of it. But sometimes when we get here, and we, we've come to this place where we found a solution before and we hope we can find it again. And it's just like, this is just not cutting it. I just don't understand what he's saying. I don't, I don't, I don't get this. And then we have to ask, who is it that doesn't get it? And it's the individual. It's always the so-called individual. It's always the imaginary character. It's the Fredness. There is Fredness. There's this physical and this, you know, these patterns over here. That's Fredness. We just give it a name so that we can have a reference for it. But there's no Fred. And it's the thought of Fred that when I, that is unbearable. Because Fred is in opposition to everything. That's what Fred is. It's resistance. If you think about it, and it doesn't mean it's that because not all resistance is negative. The world runs on resistance and the uh the we this unit is resistance to unconditioned space so it doesn't make it bad it just means it's conditioning but it means it's not that there's nothing in the middle of that conditioning there's no fred in the middle of that so inquiry is the way do it and then do it more which is <clears throat> Okay, I don't. I really don't feel like I got anything fresh out of that, but I'm going to do inquiry just because so I can tell Fred I did it and it didn't work. And so um, you do some inquiry and, and start to do inquiry and you say, I, I, I'm, "Am I am I truly? I'm suffering. I feel that I'm suffering. Is that true?" And immediately you're going to hear, "Yes, it's true. If you are really suffering. This is a really big fix you're in." So then you can ask. Is that true? And while it certainly feels true, even as you ask the the yes, I'm so sure, inquiry will will fade out sureness. And sureness is the death of spiritual progress every time. So any sureness along the way, there's a difference between sureness and conviction. Conviction is when a whiteness has conviction about its own true nature, about itself. And uh, the other is when the individual has it. So you can ask, so who, who, whose suffering is it? And you go, well, it's mine. And then say, well, where is this mine? Can I show him? Can I produce him? Can I see him? And you say, well, that's me in the mirror. Is it? Is that then we go back to is that true? And I guarantee you that's not true. You are nothing that you can see, although you are oneness. So on some level, we could say, yes, you are everything that you see. But in truth, the deepest truth, 
you're nothing that you can see. All you can do is be.